We are talking, we are not talking about the things that you're familiar with. We're not talking about tangible things. We're not talking about regular old relationships. This is a profound soul relationship. You have a contract with this person from previous lifetimes. You have spent lifetimes with this person. And there is a soul contract here that needs to be fulfilled. And that's why justice is coming in and saying this is in your best interest. This is truth and honesty and fairness. This person, this transformation, this personal transformation that this person has undergone is bringing justice to the soul journey between the two of you. Hey Taurus, it's Dana. The Gypsy Psychic. Oh, what's up, everybody? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready to do a general tarot card reading for Taurus, right? Newbies, welcome to the channel. Come on in, kick back. Um, I am not your average tarot card reader. I am actually the anti-YouTube tarot card reader poster child, okay? <laughs> because I firmly believe that the only way that you are going to find the wisdom, the guidance, and the clarification that you are seeking by binge watching tarot card readings on YouTube is to get your own cards read. Okay, the tarot is a divination tool designed to be used between the medium, the recipient, and their higher power. It is not meant to be cast to an auditorium full of 80,000 people. Okay, so stop binge watching general tarot card readings, drop the dime, spend the time, and get your cards read. All right, you guys, this is a general reading for the sign of Taurus. If you have Taurus anywhere in your chart or in your world, this reading may resonate with you. It's a general reading, shits and giggles. It's just for entertainment purposes only, okay? All right, I want to display to you the awesomeness of the tarot, so let's just jump right in. Pull up a chair, come on in, snuggle up, get you a blanket, get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke, Snuggle up to the table here, and let's throw down some cards for Taurus, okay? It's going to work like it always works. I'm going to shuffle, I'll pray, I'll lay out at least 15 cards. I will confuse the heck out of you while I'm clarifying it. I'll sew together a story and read it from the top, okay? If the clarification process gets too long or too in-depth, I will fast forward that aspect of this video, and we'll pick up right where we left off, all right? So buckle up, put your earbuds in, get all comfy, because we're going to dive in to some messages from spirit for the collective of Taurus. Okay. The collective of Taurus. All right. Y'all give me a minute here. Okay. Shh, give me a minute. Spirit source universal energy. I have the collective of Taurus with me and spirit Taurus wants to know what you know. What is the most important thing that Taurus needs to know and understand about their life? at this particular time, Spirit. Uh-oh, Six of Cups and the Ace of Wands trying to come out. Spirit, what is the most important thing that Tor Taurus needs to know and understand? What's coming towards them? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, Spirit, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their life for their best and highest good? Please arrange yourself in the way you need to be seen in these cards to bring Taurus the information that they need to know and understand. Spirit, please use me as a clean and clear vessel by which to not only interpret these messages, but to explain them as well. Tell me where that stopping point is for Taurus and I'll cut three times and pull straight from the top. Spirit, what is the message for Taurus? What do you want Taurus to know? What is the most important thing right now that Taurus needs right there to understand? All right, let's cut three times and see what we get. Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Bottom of the deck, the seven of wands. A challenge, fighting through, fighting for something. All right, first card out is the, oh, hold on a second. I just spilled a whole freaking glass of lemonade on my tarot table. <laughs> and now I, I put this on here so, um, you know, I can actually do your reading. All right. First card out is the Princess of Swords. Communication, possibly. 
the King of Cups. Um, this is the card of Cancer. Sometimes it can be the card of Scorpio. Six of Pentacles in reverse, one-sided, greed, materialism. The Two of Cups in reverse, imbalanced relationship, broken relationship. The Four of Wands in reverse, instability, a lack of harmony. Sometimes it's about a transition. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse, a lack of success, a lack of reward. The Ace of Wands, new beginnings. Judgment in reverse, in the center of the spread. Judgment in reverse is deciding to not decide. Bad decision. Sometimes it's so much self-doubt that you're paralyzed. The Ace of Pentacles. Look at that. The Ace of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles. To the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody wants to come out of the cold. Queen of Swords in reverse. Angry, salty. The Eight of Pentacles, engaging, building, creating. The Six of Cups, family, home, nostalgia, the past, reuniting or reconciling some kind of differences. The Moon in reverse, struggling with your subconscious mind, dealing with repressed emotions, releasing fears. The Eight of Wands in reverse, um, holding off, no inspired action being taken, no communication maybe. The Wheel of Fortune, a turning point. All right, you guys, let's figure this out. A couple of things you need to know about me before we go any further, right? Total and complete disclaimer here. Um, I have a propensity to be inappropriate. So if that bothers you, it's time to go home right now. I swear, if that bothers you, hard left, right? Um, sometimes I smoke on camera, and if that bothers you, you should probably pack it up and go home right now, all right? Otherwise, if everybody's cool with me doing me, I'm cool with you doing you, and we're going to dive in and clarify this whole reading, okay? All right, so hold on here. Hold on here. All right, so the Princess of Swords, a message, communication, Interesting. A new perspective, possibly. What is the what is this communication that has to do with the King of Cups right here? The Eight of Cups, um, abandonment, hopelessness, possibly communication coming in from something that you thought was hopeless or that you had abandoned. Tell me more about this communication with the Princess of Swords. What is this in reverse? Look, death in reverse. Personal transformation. This King of Cups here is having some kind of of personal transformation. Okay. King of Swords. Okay, Taurus, this is what's going on. Okay. All right. Now, I was hoping that this reading would be something other than a love reading, right? But I can't control what happens here, so I'm going to read it as I see it. I'm going to call it like it is, okay? So this is what's going on in this particular situation. And when I say love, this could be romantic love. This could be family love. It could be friend love. It could even be the love of a, a, a job or a career, okay? So, 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 so. What's happening here? Well, the Princess of Swords, somebody's bringing you a message. They are. Somebody is bringing you a message to the King of Cups about emotional healing. Somebody's bringing you a message that they have worked on themselves and that they have healed emotionally. They have been honest and fair in their emotions and their soul needs to talk to you, okay? The King of Cups and the Queen of Cups, for me personally and my own show here, is about rooted love. It's not about new love. It's not about tingly love. It's about rooted love. It's an agape kind of love. It, it surpasses romantic love, okay? So this person is coming to, a, to, to you to tell you something. I don't know what they're going to tell you yet. Okay. But this person is coming to you to share with you their feelings. Okay. 
the Eight of Cups talks about abandonment, disappointment, and hopelessness. You thought that this situation was done and gone. Done and gone, done and gone, done and gone. Okay, you left this behind you. You walked away from it and you're like, you know what, bro or sis, um, this just isn't worth it to me. I just don't want to participate in this anymore. And you left. Death in reverse. Major Arcana talking about a transformation. That's what this person is coming to talk to you about. This person has had a massive transformation of some sort. I asked what the root of this transformation was with the numerology cards and I got 66 and just to be just to be straight 6 is the number of communication, problem solving, balance and harmony, okay? So this person is communicating with you that they have healed something in themselves, okay? And now they want harmony with you long-term, long-lasting harmony. Does that mean that they want to be in a unified love romantic relationship? Not necessarily, okay? So don't get your panties all up in a wad right now. It doesn't necessarily mean that. What it means is that this person's soul with the King of Cups, okay? This person's soul needs to make good with you as part of this person's healing, okay? to the three of pentacles so far, okay? To the three of pentacles and they want to collaborate. They wanna talk, they want to negotiate, they see your value and they want to talk to you. The six of pentacles in reverse. In the past, this was a one-sided relationship. Your side, I do believe. You, I think you are the spiritually elevated person in this particular situation and you saw the soul connection that they did not see okay and now they have gone through some kind of personal transformation and they have healed somehow some way and during this healing process they are recognizing that there is a soul connection between the two of you a love of sorts that surpasses anything else it was one-sided. Two of cups in reverse. It was imbalanced. The four of wands in reverse. There was no harmony. There was no stability. All crossed by the ten of cups in reverse. This ten of cups in reverse is, is broken home, broken family, broken love, broken feelings, broken promises. You may have lived with this person with the six of pentacles in reverse and the ten of cups in reverse. Maybe not. But nevertheless, um, in the past, it was one-sided. And your soul broke because you saw the soul connection, but this person did not. And you had to withdraw with that Eight of Cups, right? And the let this person go. The Empress. Because the timing, the, 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 the orchestration just wasn't right. And it could be that you letting this person go actually was the catalyst to their healing. Interesting. What's going on? Well, the seven of pentacles in reverse. So this person comes in with a message and talks about their healing. And Taurus is in the set of seven of pentacles in reverse and saying, you know what, if I keep doing what I've always done, I'm always going to get what I've always gotten. Why should I repeat this whole thing with you? I already know you. I know you and I'm really highly doubtful that um, anything could be different between us. To the Eight of Wands in reverse. We have had no communication. We have had no interaction. It, 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 there's nothing. To the Emperor. The Emperor is someone that takes their spiritual growth and begins to build an empire upon it. See, it's lesson number four, right? Four is the number of stability and structure in the tarot, okay? Lesson number one is manifestation. You, Whatever you think about comes about in your life, and that's just the way it is, whether it's in your best interest or not. So it's important to understand the manifestation aspect so all of the rest of the lessons of the major arcana can, be, can come to fruition in your life. Lesson number two, and I have a point here, lesson number two is the high priestess. If we don't understand the leading of spirit in our life, then our spiritual journey is not a spiritual journey. It's a carnal journey in the flesh and the ego. 
which is the opposite. See, the flesh and the ego need control. A spiritual journey gives up utter control, gives utterly gives up control. Okay. So if we don't know how to follow the calling, the leading of spirit in our lives with the high priestess, um, none of the rest of the rest of the lessons can't be fully understood. Okay. The third lesson is takes the knowledge of manifestation and spiritual guidance and they pull it into themselves and out into their life. The, the, the Empress is someone that has the understanding of the two most important spiritual aspects, manifestation and the leading of spirit through the high priestess, right? And the Empress understands this and she brings it into her life and she bases her life and her life decisions on her spiritual understanding and not on the understanding of the flesh. Then comes the emperor, lesson number four. What is the fourth lesson? Well, the emperor takes this spiritual knowledge and they create an empire, a spiritual empire, a spiritual foundation by which to build upon the rest of the lessons of the major arcana. All of that to say this, this emperor is now in a position where they have some kind of spiritual understanding and they want to build a spiritual aspect to their life. This is your person, the hermit. This person has been doing soul searching and introspection for a good long minute now. They have been in the hermit mode doing the soul searching and the introspection, conversing with their higher power and really trying to see the illumination of the path that their life needs to take. Enter Taurus in the reverse, okay? Taurus in the reverse is two things right here, okay? Well, it's three things. The Empress in reverse is denoting that this person up to this point has not understood the spiritual journey. Okay, this person is led by their ego in their flesh up till this point, right? And they never really understood the spiritual journey. The Empress in reverse is the definition of this card is a blockage or codependency. The blockage aspect is you, Taurus, having blocked this person out of your life completely and totally. Done, blocked, eight of cups, right? Done, over blocked because it was one-sided. It was an imbalanced relationship. There was no harmony and there was hurt feelings in this situation. It never came to fruition and you blocked it. The Empress in reverse denoting codependency talks about this person's spiritual journey, this person's soul journey. Remember, they're the emperor, right? They're ready to start establishing some kind of spiritual life. And they are codependent on you because there is a spiritual connection between the two of you. And they feel th what was revealed to them in the hermit energy is that they need Taurus to be able to understand how to move forward. Okay. To the world in reverse. The world in reverse is a blockage. What's the blockage? Well, it's a lack of critical self-analysis. No cycle changes ever happen in our life without critical self-analysis. The world, the chariot, the death card, um, the wheel of fortune, right? All of these turning points are because we, in our subconscious, sit back and we go, hmm, it didn't quite work for me. I'm not going to do that again, right? It's looking in the mirror and saying, I am not, things aren't going properly. What do I need to do to change my life? And that is what turns this card from the reverse into the upright, the critical self-analysis. But in the reverse, it's talking to me about A, you have blocked this person from moving forward with you in any way whatsoever. This also tells me that this person needs the Empress to complete their transformation, okay? To the Ace of Wands in reverse. I wanted to ask a card about this. Tell me about, yep, look, the lovers. 
lovers is divine union. It is a significant relationship. This person wants to walk side by side with you and they want you to guide them in a spiritual union. Mm -hmm. The Ace of Wands, inspired, passionate, new beginnings, potential, tons and tons of potential to judgment in reverse. This person has been completely and utterly undecided about you. As a matter of fact, I think in the past, this person thought perhaps it was a bad decision to, to be in union with you. Lots and lots of self-doubt here for this person. Lots and lots of self-doubt to the Ace of Pentacles. But in that hermit energy, they have received an understanding that it is now time to recreate with the Taurus to the Four of Wands. And they want stability and harmony in the relationship between you. Their soul needs peace with you, Taurus. They need to have peace with you. Not only do they need to have peace with you, but they feel like they need your guidance somehow, some way to move forward in their spiritual journey. Um, perhaps they want to walk side by side with you in a spiritual journey. Don't know. It's a general reading. I don't know what's going on here. This is, um, I don't know. If this was your reading, I would be able to assign all of this to the intricacies of your life. But because this is a general reading, I don't know what I'm talking about here. So, okay. The Ace of Pentacles. Again, the manifestation of a new opportunity. We have the Ace of Pentacles in the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is about the manifestation of new prosperity, okay? And prosperity can be anything. It doesn't have to be money. But there's a manifestation of new prosperity. And this person's newfound spiritual journey is the manifestation of new prosperity. But there's a missing piece, and it's the Taurus, to the five of pentacles in reverse, right? They want to come out of the cold. They want to come out of spiritual poverty. They want to come out of the cold. They want to learn. They want to grow. They want to engage with you from a spiritual perspective. The six of swords in reverse. This is about stuck, can't move on, so much baggage. To the king of swords, this person is speaking their truth their truth about their baggage, the truth about why way they were stuck and they couldn't fulfill something with you in the past. The King of Swords is speaking truth, logic, reasoning, intellect. This person is not just coming to you with emotions. This person is coming to you pulled together, pulled together, all of it pulled together and square in their mind. And they're going to tell you why they were indecisive in the past with judgment in reverse. To the lovers, they're going to tell you why they want to be in union with you. To the wheel of fortune in reverse, they're going to tell you about bad karma. They're going to tell you about things that they had to deal with things that, that, that could not have been in divine orchestration before can now be put into divine orchestration now to the seven of pentacles. This person wants you to consider having success with them. Mm -hmm. They've put a lot of thought into it. They've changed their ways. This card is about an investigation, discovery, Profit, reward, sowing seeds. They have sowed see sown seeds into their own life. They have thought about a lot of things and they have changed, Taurus. They have changed. Queen of Swords in reverse. Taurus is still salty, right? Salty, 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 salty about this, right? Looking at them with the old fish eye, right? You're like, I don't know about you. I don't think so. I don't think so. Page of Swords in reverse, because you're all talk, no action, and undelivered promises. You bounce in, you set me up with high hopes, and then you bounce out again. And I'm not about to go through that crazy fucking cycle, that roller coaster anymore. Not, I'm not interested in participating in a roller coaster ride with you anymore. To the Five of Swords. Conflict, defeat, betrayal.
something from you, right? This person stole from you. What did they steal from you? Well, they stole your feelings for sure. They've stolen your sense of worth somehow, some way. This person disturbed your sense of self-worth. Okay. Two, the eight of pentacles. Now they want to engage and work on it, build it, grow it, fix it to the six of cups. They want to reunite with you. They want to reconcile your differences. Justice comes on top of it and says, it's in your best interest. Now this is major arcana. And so is the lovers here, right? Um, the world in reverse and the emperor, right? It's all the empress in reverse. It's all major arcana. So what this is all telling me is that this is for your soul journey as well. Does this mean that you guys are going to get together and be lovers? Not necessarily, okay? We are talking, we are not talking about the things that you're familiar with. We're not talking about tangible things. We're not talking about regular old relationships. This is a profound soul relationship. You have a contract with this person from previous lifetimes. You have spent lifetimes with this person. And there is a soul contract here that needs to be fulfilled. And that's why justice is coming in and saying, this is in your best interest. This is truth and honesty and fairness. This person, this transformation, this personal transformation that this person has undergone is bringing justice to the soul journey between the two of you, to the star. And it is purposeful. There is connection to divine understanding in the justice of the two of you burying the hatchet with one another once and for all. The star is about reinvention. It's about reinventing yourself, hope and faith, purpose for the future. And there is purpose. There is purpose to this whole thing coming back around to you yet again, Taurus. There is purpose to it. To the Princess of Cups. Princess of Cups is about emotional control. Because in the reverse, it's about emotional immaturity. Um, this person has themselves, to the best of their ability, under emotional control and they want to create with you. They're bringing you a message of creation, Taurus. The moon in reverse. The moon in reverse to the eight of wands in reverse. This is dealing with the repressed emotions, eight of wands in reverse, um, because you haven't had any contact with this person for a very long time. The repressed emotions is the Ten of Cups and the Two of Cups and the Four of Wands and the Six of Pentacles all in reverse, right? Those are the repressed emotions. And now you're being forced to, to choke on those repressed emotions, right? They're all coming up right here and not sure what to do about all of it. What are those repressed emotions? Well, the Seven of Swords, betrayal and deception. Repressed emotions, it's futile for us to even engage with one another again. It's just, ugh. Five of Wands fills me with conflict. Fills me with conflict to the Three of Swords because I went through so much grief and sorrow where you are concerned that Eight of Swords, I'm all tied up in my head because I'm not really sure that I need to engage in this yet again. But remember, there is a soulful tilling of the soil here. And this person needs closure with you so they can move on in their own spiritual journey. Whether that's on the same rails with you or not remains to be seen. But your spiritual journey needs cl this closure and their spiritual journey needs this closure. Okay? Needs the justice. The Wheel of Fortune. And it is now time for divine orchestration. This is divinely orchestrated. You both need this to elevate your spiritual journey. You both need this to be at peace in your lives. 
turning point in your life. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Loss. Like I said earlier, this person stripped you of something. Don't know what it was. Maybe it's money. Maybe it's a house. Maybe it's foundation. Maybe it is um, your sense of self-worth. Okay? But this person stripped you of something to the Three of Pentacles. But now they see your value. Now they want to collaborate, negotiate, and they see your value. To the Five of Wands. All that conflict Let's see, to the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, I think this person, I think this Queen of Pentacles in reverse represents a karmic relationship that this person was in up till fairly recently. Because this right here, I think this right here, this these hurt feelings and everything at the, in the top row, um, I think that that was... This person rejecting you and going into some other relationship where they needed to learn something significant about themselves. This other relationship that this person had was the catalyst for their personal transformation. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse conflicted the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Someone who used to hold title but doesn't anymore, right? Why? This person used to hold title, but they don't anymore because they were not meant to go the long haul. It was a karmic type of relationship where this person needed to learn a lesson. And they did. They learned something very, very valuable about themselves. And I think that this person has probably had a bazillion karmic relationships with the opportunity to learn this same thing, but they weren't prepared to learn this until they entered into this previous relationship, not the one with you, but the one after you, okay? And they learned something. That's why it was not ready when you guys were presented the opportunity the first time around. It wasn't ready because this person had not learned what it was that they needed to learn because they were living in the ego and the flesh and not in the spiritual. But now this person is, is learning to live in a spiritual relationship, right? With themselves, with their higher power, and with you. Okay, so in the past, the conflict was that this person just wasn't, they hadn't received the lesson that they needed to learn. Let's just say they hadn't learned the lesson that they were receiving. Okay, but now they have. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse is someone who used to hold title in their life, but doesn't anymore. Upset to the King of Swords. And the truth is, that this person recognizes this now and they're going to tell you the truth. It's the same King of Swords that's back here, right? Now they're going to tell you the truth. They're looking at things with logic and reasoning and responsibility and they're going to tell you that they, un that they now understand to the Three of Cups and they're happy about it. They're really happy about it. They're not sad about this relationship that has gone down the tubes, the one after you, okay? They're not sad about it at all. They're actually rejoicing. And now they want to reunite with you and tell you all about it with the Three of Cups. But you're in self-protection mode with the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Total self-protection mode. Because any kind of, of reuniting or renewing with this person gives you a sense of immense insecurity with the Two of Pentacles in reverse, imbalanced, unorganized, an immense sense of insecurity, okay? But note that this is Major Arcana, and what Spirit is saying here is that this is part of your journey as well. To the Magician, Manifestation, universal law being manifested into your life. I don't know why, but I just saw... Some just as somebody eating, um, it's not, it's not crab, it's crawfish, crawfish. I just saw somebody eating crawfish. What's the weirdest, what the hell is that? Right? I don't know. Maybe y'all are going to get together over some crawfish or something. I don't know, but weird, so weird. So the alchemist manifesting, 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 manifesting. I'm going to get a clarifier on this. Actually, I'm going to use these. Spirit, tell me about this alchemist right here. What is it that is manifesting? 
What is it that's manifesting? What is it that's manifesting, Spirit? The star. Spiritual journey. Your spiritual journey, Taurus. Your spiritual journey is manifesting right here because you need to make amends with this person. You need to hear this person out, even if you don't re-engage with this person. The healing that comes from the messages that this person is bringing you is purposeful for your spiritual journey. You need this to, to level up and to elevate. Um, is it purposeful that this person is now going to be a part of your life? Maybe. It's, it's, it's a general reading, right? It, like I said before, if this was you, I could, I could tailor this to your situations and circumstances and the elements that are happening in your life. But I don't know because it's a general reading. But let's take it at face value. Manifestation of purpose, okay? Hope and faith and renewal manifestation of purpose that's what's coming into your life with this person coming back to you the eight of cups abandonment maybe the purpose here is to help you cure some kind of abandonment abandonment issues maybe there's some spiritual growth to be found here that is going to help you come to terms with some kind of abandonment issues which is why um, this didn't work maybe this person is dealing with abandonment issues maybe you're mirroring each other and both of you have abandonment issues the princess of pentacles but there's new manifestation on the way to the Prince of Pentacles that is going to take you far, long, steady, and stable in your spiritual journey. I don't know about this relationship, but in your spiritual journey, this needs to happen. The world in reverse because it's a blockage for you. It's a blockage that that is going to help you initiate some kind of critical self-analysis so you can free yourself from the baggage that you have carried about this situation. Even though you've moved on, even though you've closed it out, there is still an aching in your soul for this person because this person is a soulmate. Soulmates don't always mean that you go together forever and always amen till the end of time. Who really wants to do that anyway? But that's not what that means. A soulmate is our soul tribe that we spend lifetime after lifetime after lifetime trying to accomplish what it is we came here to accomplish and now this soulmate needs you to help them expand their spiritual journey and you need this soulmate to help you expand your spiritual journey does it mean forever and always amen not necessarily okay ten of swords in reverse this is renewal and regeneration to the four of cups contemplating to the seven of cups but see i want to point out something in this four of cups right here taurus i want to point out something about this four of cups right here though see the guy in the card he's got three cups in front of him and he's like i'm fine i'm doing good i'm fine i have my three cups of emotional fulfillment and um, I'm not really interested. See, he's ignoring that hand of, of spirit, trying to hand him the fourth cup. Four, like I said before, with the emperor, is the number of stability and structure, okay? It's the number of communication. And what spirit is saying here is that you are apathetic to what's being offered to you because you have what you think is enough in your life already. But Spirit's trying to offer you this fourth cup, which is going to bring emotional understanding into your life. Hence, the spiritual elevation. The seven of cups. Options, choices, decisions. The high priestess in reverse. Not trusting yourself. Not trusting your intuition. Because you have feelings for this person. Deep, deep feelings for this person. Soul, love feelings for this person and you're not trusting your intuition because your your brain and your your ego is saying oh hell no hell no but the spiritual aspect of it is saying you need this you need this this is a piece of the puzzle and you need to to engage with this at least to hear it out 
because there's some healing for you in here as well. To the three of wands, have some foresight. Have some foresight. The ten of wands in reverse because the heavy burden that you have carried about this situation is nearing completion. The, the truth that this person is going to speak to you is going to alleviate the burden. Why is my thing blinking? Uh-oh. Okay, Taurus, had a camera issue. Sorry. The King of Pentacles in reverse. King of Pentacles in reverse is talking about maybe worried about appearances. Maybe you're worried what other people are going to say about you re-engaging in this situation. But you know what? Other people aren't on your spiritual journey. They're not. They're not. This King of Pentacles in reverse could be talking about how this person is incapable of being your King of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles in reverse and overinvestment of time and effort because you feel like this person can't be your King of Pentacles. The King and Queen of Pentacles are the ultimate domestic partnership of the tarot, right? They believe in love, family, security. Okay, they are the domestic partnership of the tarot. And perhaps you are thinking that this person is incapable of being that. And it's just a waste of your time. But looky there, there's the Queen of Cups to the King of Cups. The Queen of Cups to the King of Cups. Soulmate love. Okay, soulmate love. The Prince of Cups in reverse. But you know what? Your feelings were hurt by who? The King of Wands in the past. This person. The queen of wands in reverse. They didn't choose you in the past. And in the past, this person could not meet your needs. The nine of swords. Painful lesson. Painful lesson. The chariot in reverse. Opposition. What's the opposition? The seven of swords in reverse. The mental challenges associated with the devil. Some kind of toxicity. The, the, the past, right? But this person has changed. This person has changed. And you need each other to complete a cycle. The cycle will never be completed without each other. If y'all don't talk and you turn this person down and you stay blocked and y'all don't talk, this cycle cannot be completed. You have to engage in this to complete this cycle. It's so important for, for you and for this person, okay? The devil, an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. I'm going to clarify the devil. Tell me about this devil right here, spirit. Please tell me about this devil right here. Whoa, holy moly. Look, death, it is no more. The toxicity that was is no more. There is an ending to the way that things were and a beginning to the way that things will be. It's a transition from one state of being to another. You are going to transform from one state of being into another. This person is going to transform from one state of being to another. And there is going to be manifestation between you. To the Ten of Pentacles, future, foundation, something to build upon. The tower in reverse. And when I say something to build upon, does that mean you guys are going to be together? No, it doesn't mean that. It could mean that. It's a general reading. But what it means is that the healing that comes from this gives you the foundation to build a strong future. To the tower in reverse. Tower in reverse is a personal transformation. The tower in reverse is averting disaster. The tower in reverse is taking the tower, the upheaval and the chaos that was this relationship and using it, having the revelation and the awakening of what spirit's trying to teach you with the tower and creating a personal transformation out of it to the six of pentacles in reverse, one-sided, Six of Swords, a regretful but necessary transition. The Hermit in reverse, withdrawal, and the Star. Yep, look at that. Look at that. So what this is saying, what this is saying is that you are, given, you are being given the opportunity to take 
upheaval and chaos and the utter crumbling of something that was not built on a solid foundation. What's the solid foundation? Spirituality. Like I said way earlier in this reading, I think you are more spiritually stable than this person was. But now they're coming to you to help them get their spiritual legs about them. Maybe it's nothing more than one conversation about spirituality. But you, instead of crawling through the rubble, you know, ash, tear, tear streaked face, right? Trying to rebuild something. You're having the revelation that this can't be rebuilt because the foundation was never there in the first place. And this person's transformation is the grazing of the land. Raising, is it raising? The raising of the land? Plowing it down, okay? And instead of trying to rebuild from the rubble, rebuilding something brand new, possibly together. One-sided with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Leaving the situation with the Six of Swords. Withdrawing your energy to the star again. There is purpose in this coming together again. There is purpose for your life, for their life, for any relationship that you have together. The Hierophant in reverse. This is reevaluating your belief system. Hence the tower in reverse, right? If it, was the, if it was the tower in the upright and the Hierophant in the upright, this is about your belief system crumbling. Right? With the tower in reverse and the hierophant in reverse, this is about the reevaluation of your belief system. See, you can't go back to the way it used to be because the way that it used to be doesn't even exist anymore. It's gone because this person has had a massive personal transformation and a massive dosage of spiritual growth. So there is nothing to go back to. Therefore, your belief system about this situation needs to be utterly and completely reevaluated. That's going to lead you to emotional fulfillment, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction in your life with the sun, happiness, success, and vitality. The five of cups, the loss, the regret, the despair, the disappointment, that does not exist anymore because that person doesn't exist anymore. You don't exist anymore the way that you were when this went down between the two of you. You are two totally brand new creatures, hence the magician with manifestation. You are totally two brand new creatures that are coming together with brand new perspective. Neither one of you can go back to the way that the other person used to be or the way that you yourself used to be because that does not exist anymore. It no longer exists. The Ten of Cups. Emotional fulfillment. Immense emotional fulfillment. To the Fool. That prepares you for a new journey in your life. Like I have been saying, you need this to grow, Taurus. You need this to elevate your spirituality. You need this to come to understandings about things about yourself. So you can take a quantum leap. So you can head out in a direction that you know nothing about. You don't know anything about this person anymore, and they don't know anything about you. The old yous cease to exist. And the only thing that is on the table is new. New you, new them, new foundation of the relationship, new everything. And you don't know where this is going to take you, but Spirit says, trust me. This is going to take you to a higher elevation. This is going to take you to a place where you have never been before. That's the fool. Ace of Swords in reverse. Ah, I'm going to clarify this. Tell me about this Ace of Swords in reverse, please. Tell me about the Ace of Swords in reverse, please. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse, right? You're still not so sure. You still think it might be an overinvestment of your time and effort. Yep, look, Four of Pentacles, self-protection. 
total and utter self-protection. But look at this, the Eight of Pentacles. It's time to engage, it's time to grow, it's time to build, it's time to fix, it's time to gain mastery of your spiritual journey, Taurus, to the chariot and roll out roll forward, go. This chariot is the metaphorical vehicle that is going to take you to the journey of the fool, to the Prince of Wands, inspired, passionate, inspired action in your life, to the tower, total and complete change, sudden change, because you have had the awakening and the revelation of the meltdown aspect of this person in your life. And now it's a personal transformation, hence death. The ending of one way of being and the beginning of a new way of being. A complete and utter different death. You can't go back. That's what I've been saying this, this whole time. You can't go back to the way this person was because this person no longer exists. You can't go back to the way you were because you no longer exist the way that you were. This is a beautiful reading about two souls who have done what needs to be done in order to help each other grow in your spiritual journeys. It's beautiful. Like I said, is it forever and always? Amen. Maybe, maybe not. It's a general reading. Nobody knows. As if these were your cards, I could tell you, but nobody freaking knows. It's a, it, oh my God, look, love, love. We're going to read this. We're going to read this because this is, this is a beautiful journey, Taurus. You have an opportunity to grow massively, but you have to step out of your ego and your flesh and you have to get in touch with your spirituality and your spiritual journey and understand that this is coming full circle to complete a cycle in your life and in their life that needs to be completed so you can be set free either to build with someone new who this person is someone new to you because they're not who they used to be or to take it and build your future upon it. Love. This card indicates a need to see the world through the eyes of love and to remember at all times that only love is real. Remember soulmate love, the king and queen of cups. Only love is real. When you look beyond the illusion to see the beauty in the world, you align yourself with source and the intentions of your soul. Because you attract what you are when you, when you see through the eyes of love, that's what will surround you in all areas of your life. This card also indicates a need to go within to recognize and address any limiting thoughts and beliefs that you are holding back from experiencing love. This is a time when you must ask yourself, am I truly open to giving and receiving love? Do I truly believe I am worthy of love? Do I really believe that love exists for me? Because love only comes when you believe that it exists. When you're open to giving and receiving it, and when you know that you are worthy, love comes into your life. In order to improve your current situation, you're being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life. Cycles that are encouraging you to see and believe in love. When you believe in yourself and cherish your life as it is today, love will embrace you in ways you've never known. Unconditional love of self and others will attract more love into your life. I see through the eyes of love and attract more love into my life. Wow. Taurus, that was your reading. This is very, very important. Very, very important. Look right here. This is so important for your spiritual ascension, Taurus. You must address this situation when it presents itself. Not in your flesh, but in your spirituality. Huge difference. Huge difference. It's a very spiritually moving opportunity. That spirit says it's in your best interest to engage in, to bring a cycle to a close. Because if you don't engage with it, the cycle will not close. And it will perpetually be that, that throbbing 
deep down inside the repressed emotions. Right on, Taurus. There you go. Hope I helped somebody. Namaste.